guys so I just got my April Ipsy bag in this pretty pink shiny wrapping bubble packaging uh, this is the one for April 2014 I just received it about 20 minutes ago so this is exciting I have no idea what's in here if you do not know what Ipsy is it is a monthly makeup subscription bag where you get four to five full-size deluxe samples of makeup products and you can take a survey online so that it better fits what you like so let's get into it I can also link it down below so if you would like to sign up I will have the link there so you can sign up this is the bag it's like a vinyl it feels almost waterproof and it has a record vinyl it says beauty rock <laughs> beauty rocks ipsy um let's open it this feels like a pretty good quality bag also Ooh. so this is the first thing i see um okay that is the brand tinted lip balm apple pink is the color it has a little makeup brush I've never used this before. I'm new to Ipsy, but I feel like this has been given out before. This color, let's swatch. So it's a very nudie pink kind of color. I don't know if I like it. It's very bland for me, but it, it's nice. And as you can see, it's kind of like, I don't know. It seems like a little bit of product to me. But it's a cute packaging. I like it. I've never heard of this brand before except for in Ipsy bags. But that is the first product. Ah. Second product is these Kiss eyelashes. I don't really wear eyelashes. I have ginormous eyeballs and mascara normally does not for me. I don't really... I don't know. But these could be fun to play with. And they are, look so natural, shy. Yeah, these probably won't do anything for me. But it's nice, it's cute. It says free glue included. So that. I feel all of these papers. Let's grab out all of the papers. Okay. So, this is the Ipsy card. This is the theme, music, something. Yes, that is the card. Next is Urban Decay Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil. I knew someone who worked at Sephora, so I got a whole bunch of these free. And quite frankly, I don't wear eyeliner either. I don't really do much to my eyes. But I guess this is a nice product. It's like half the size of a normal one. Let's see if I can get it out smoky velvet and it kind of shows a little diagram so that's pretty cool so I mean it must smudge or something so it goes on very smooth it's urban decay so of course it's like a nice quality um, smudgy as you can tell it's easily smudgeable let's see next I don't even know what this is City color white gold. Okay, uh, I don't think this is very wearable. At least for me. Let's see. I feel like it would work good for a child. What brand is this? Is that the brand? City color in the color white gold maybe? White gold. Yeah. The packaging's cute. It's... I don't know what it is. Is it eyeshadow? Is it a primer? So, let's see if you can see. It's this white color. Oh, it's so sticky. It feels like marshmallow puff, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, it's a weird consistency. It literally feels like that marshmallow stuff that you can cook with or whatever. The marshmallow goo. It's very creamy. That's the color I don't... Maybe it's good for highlighting? It's shimmery. It's kind of a weird... I feel like I see almost 
hues of green in it. I, I don't know. I'm not an eye person, so. The next is um, this Color Fix Magnifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. I have acne, so this is nice for me. So let's see what this looks like. It's a nice size. It's just a clear gel primer. Um, it's a nice sort of silky feeling. So, let's see. This is the bag. This, I feel like, is probably the best thing for me in here. This, I feel like, is very unwearable and a super strange texture. Like, when I stuck my finger in it, you could see this, like, pile up. Like, it just feels like a melted marshmallow, which is kind of cool to think about. But, yeah, I think it's... I don't know. I'm sure some beauty gurus might like this. But it's a weird thing. Ah! This is nice. It's a nice color that probably will work on a lot of complexions. It's very nude and wearable. Eyelashes. A lot of people like eyelashes. This is um, a pretty well-known brand. Tapered end lash, other lash. So it seems like it's a good, well-designed eyelash. And then last is the Urban Decay, which I'm sure a lot of people are excited about. But I personally don't wear, do much to my eyes. But that was the Ipsy. So exciting. I can't, if you guys are uploading your Ipsy bags, I would love to see what you guys get and tell me if you think these products are good, awesome, not so good, what you think about this month's Ipsy bag. Thanks for watching and bye!